I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for links in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals and download this player reference. In here are all the fawn. Fawn is a scoring element or pattern. Each pattern has a particular score. The score is relative to the difficulty of the fawn. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. South, West, and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie, and try to find fawn. we got to have eight points to win, so it's important to know the fawn. Be sure to download this player reference so you can study. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for east. They have a flower. Pair of eights, pair of nines, pair of north. I think here I would try all pung, terminal pung. We do have two other terminals here. If we get pair up and pung, that'll be another fawn. All pung, terminal pung. Maybe outside hand, all pung outside hand. Outside hand is number 55, and that's four fawn. So we would need score elsewhere. That's why I was thinking about terminal pungs. North is not our seat, and wind of the round is east. So we're not going to get value for that. This wind and these dragons, if we pair up, could bring us two fawn each. Let's see if we could play outside hand. Terminal pungs may be a valued honor to get to eight points. Let's see what we can do for south. One dot, five bams, six cracks, and a single honor. Mixed suits. We have a pair of twos and a pair of fives. You know what? We almost have greater honors and knitted tiles here. Number 20, seven odd honors with each suit represented. Now we don't have very many honors, only one. So then there's lesser honors and knitted tiles. Odd honors and knitted tiles. One or two five eight one four seven three six nine and the dragon. All singles. We have one, two, three, four, five discards. But we would have, if we went with a half flush, we'd have six discards. Since we have more cracks than bams by one tile. Let's see if we can force greater honors and knitted tiles here. Greater honors and knitted tiles. That's 24 fawn. We need a three dot and a nine dot. Okay, let's see what we can do now for West. Three, 
They have primarily dots with honors and a pair of dragons. I would play a half flush with a dragon pong. That'd be eight fawn or eight points. A fawn is the pattern. The points is the value of the pattern. For half flush, that's six points. Dragon pong is two points. So that would be eight points for two fawn. Let's look and see what we can do for north. One, two, four, six, seven, nine. I would try for a pure straight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a five, six, seven chow. All we need in here is a pair in chow. I'd play a, a pure straight. We're going to discard the five dot. So here we're trying for outside hand. We have a pair of eights, so we need seven and eight crack. Two of each for seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. That's also another fawn. That's called pure double chow. Pure double chow is number 69, one fawn. Let's draw four south. Five dot. We need three dot, six dot. Let's discard five dot. Up here, if we're doing a half flush, technically we could chow, but that would leave two isolated tiles. I think I would rather draw and see if we can get other dots or pair up the honors. We got a dot. I've been told to not break a chow to make a chow if it leaves isolated tiles. If you break a chow to make a chow and you're left with potential chow, then go for it. But in this case, we would have been left with two isolated tiles. Let's discard three crack. Up here, we're going to chow. We're gonna try for a pure straight. So we need, we, oh, we have a chow here, so that's good. We, we can use that. It's okay if your other block is in a different suit. This is the primary fawn, pure straight. So let's, let's discard, since we have a block, we need a pair. Let's discard these honors since they're singles. Down here, we'll draw because nobody can take that red dragon. Five crack. We want outside hand. This is a middle number, so that's not gonna help us. Outside hand, ones, nines, wins dragons, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, that'll work too. Nine dot, we needed that. Okay, all we need is a three in here. Three, six, nine, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, dragon. Okay, we need more wins and dragons. We're just gonna gather and they all need to be singles. So here, let's discard six bam. We're gonna try to make this work. One, four, seven. So we need to get rid of these tiles in the back. These are all keepers in front. Three, six, nine, two, five, eight, or one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, and then wins and dragons. Let's draw. Three crack, no, we want dots. Three crack. You know what? I should have gotten rid of these. They are, this player chowed. Either way, we're gonna have to get rid of these and it'll be risky because if this player chowed a one, two, three, it is more likely than not that they're gonna be in that suit. Either way, we need to get rid of these as quickly as possible before they're set up for them. So let's draw. Eight dot. 
we need to pair up. We need a pair in here besides these chows. Let's discard east. Drawing for east. We got a four crack. That's a middle number. We do not need four, five, six. We want one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and winds and dragons. Let's draw. Oh, now wait, four crack. Three, six, nine, two, five, eight. We're not doing any chows. We're gonna draw. We need honors. We got a one. That's not helpful. We want three, six, nine. One dot. Up here, let's pung. Now here, if we pung, that is going to leave an isolated tile. But I think in this case I would pung. And then see if we can draw something to help here. Because even if we chow with the one, two, three, it would have left an isolated one. Let's pung. Not only that, but a terminal pung is a fawn. Let's discard six crack. Three dot. We need to we need a pair in here. We have seven, eight, nine. We need to chow. We need to chow that. We have a chow here. We need a pair in here. None of these are out. These are all edge chow tiles. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. So I think these are all good for a potential pair. Let's, let's build from the inside out and keep the outer tile. So the seven and the three are the closest to the edge. So let's discard seven dot. Now, I don't know if that logic is valid, but that's just where my mind is going. Let's draw here. Seven crack. Now that is a keeper. We can do a seven, eight, nine chow. Now this one is isolated, but a terminal pung could bring us value. And we still need a pair in here. Seven, eight, nine potential, seven, eight, nine potential. We could pung the terminal, pung the honor. These could all bring value. So in this case, I think what I would do is discard the eight crack. I think it's pretty slim chance for us to get another seven, eight, nine. Let's just see if that was the right way to go. Eight crack. We're good to go everywhere. You cannot chow from the player on your right. So we cannot take that eight. East. That's a keeper. We need single honors. So we're going to discard eight bam. We have three discards and we need a three dot. Drawing here. South, that's gonna help us get to a half flush if we can pair up. Let's discard seven crack. We're gonna draw up here. Two bam, two bam. We need a pair in here. Let's, let's keep, let's see, two, three, eight. Let's discard nine bam and see if a two, three, or eight can be a good pair. Let's chow. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, seven, eight, nine, potential pung, potential pung. These could have value. Let's discard one bam. Nobody can take it. Flower. Flower. Four dot. We need a three dot. Oh, four dot. Okay, let's let's shall. We still need something for this too. Let's discard, let's see, we're west, either the north or south. Let's just discard north. 
down here, we're going to pung. Pung. Okay. Potential chow, potential pung, all value here. We still need a pair in here. These are all of value, potentially. Red dragon was thrown. Let's discard that. Four dot. We need a three dot. Nine crack. Three bam. We already have five, six, seven. None of these are out. We need a pair in here. Let's discard. Let's void a suit for extra fawn. Let's get rid of the dots. Three dot. Nobody can take it. West. That's not our seat. We're east. Let's discard west. West. Nobody can take it. Last tile in the second wall. Two bam. One four seven two five eight three six nine. We don't need this. Two bam. Nobody can take it, so it'll be this player's turn. Four bam. Okay, up here we have a chow. We need to chow here and here. We need a pair in here. And we want to avoid a suit. Five dot. Nobody can take it. Two dot. We need one, nine, pair these up. Two dot. Six bam. We have our number tiles there. Six bam. Three crack. Two dot. One dot. There's a Kong out. Or a Pung. We don't, we can't do anything here. We could have done a one, two, three maybe, but there's already a three dot out. We threw a two dot. Let's draw. Five bam. Five crack. Chow. It's looking a lot like a pure straight. Eight dot. We need a pair. Chow. We have a chow here. We need to pair one of those. Eight dot, nobody can take it. Flower. Nine bam. We have a seven, eight, nine out. Okay, who knows if these are gonna come in. Let's get rid of them now. White dragon. Nobody can take it. Six dot. No pairs in lesser knitted tiles. Lesser honors with knitted tiles. Lesser honors with knitted tiles. No multiples. We're going to discard six dot. Oh, ciao. There's a, a west out. No souths are out. There's a two, there are two twos out. 
Let's discard the two. I do try not to be waiting on an honor, but in this case, there are two twos out and one west, no south. Four bam. Oh my goodness. We need an eight crack here and we need a pair in here. Five, six, seven. There's a four bam out and a two bam out. No three bam. So let's discard two bam for east. Seven crack. That's not helpful. We need a nine crack. Here we need a three dot and honors. We got a two bam. South. We got it. Let's discard west. And we have a half flush. We need that dragon pung for two fawn. Drawing four north. Four crack. We need an eight crack and a pair. Four crack. Can't take it. We're playing knitted tiles. Flower. Six dot again. Three dot. That is the second one out. This player needs it. Nine dot. Here we're going to pong. Pong. We need a seven, eight, nine, and then we need a pair. Let's get rid of east. I think it'd be more likely to pair up here than an east. Let's draw. White dragon. We do not need pairs. We need singles. White dragon. Nine bam. We need an eight crack and a pair. Flower. Red dragon. Those are out. Drawing for east. Nine crack. We're ready to win. Nine bam. There's one out in a chow, one out in a discard. There are no one cracks out. No, there's a one crack out in a chow. So, which one do we get rid of? I think it's six, one half dozen the other. One player is in cracks, apparently. One player is in dots. So, let's give up the crack and hope to get a nine bam discarded. Wait, there are two nine bams out. Only one, one crack. Let's discard nine bam. We're ready on a one crack for outside hand, terminal pung. Do we have enough score? Outside hand is four. Terminal pung is five. Mixed double chow is six. We don't have enough score. I wonder if we have all types. All types is four pungs or chows and a pair where each set represents a different type of tile. That is six points. We have a pung, a chow, and a pung of honors. So all types, do we qualify for all types here? I'm gonna have to look it up. Let's draw. Five bam. Eight dot. Green dragon. Mahjong. So we got this from the player on our right. 
layer on the right. Here's our pair. So for this player, we have four, five, six, six, seven, eight. That is shifted, but I don't think there is a, a mix shifted pung or chalice with two. I think it's two shifted pungs. I don't think that is anything. There is, there is one called mix shifted chows, but that's with three, not two. Mixed double chow, two chows of the same sequence in different suits, no. I don't think we get anything for that. If we had a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that would be a short straight, but we don't qualify. We do have a dragon pung and a terminal pung, so that's two and one, so that would be three. Half flush is six, so this would be a nine point hand. We were waiting on a double weight. So I think this is only nine. So these two players would owe eight. This player would owe 17. If you have a set of tiles at home, I recommend playing solitaire. You've got to be able to compartmentalize your decision making though or you will skew the outcome of the game. Just pretend like you don't know what's in everybody's hand. Focus on one hand at a time. It is a great way to study the fawn. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong, competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.